guys and welcome to the family fudge I'm Jennifer and on Wednesdays I like to share a recipe or two today I'm going to be sharing some family friendly Valentine's Day recipes that are perfect if you're like me and want to do something special with the kids on Valentine's Day I'm going to share with you ideas that come together quickly that are easy for kids to help make and that are tasty enough that even my pickiest eaters will eat them. So stay tuned. Now before we get started, today's video is part of a collaboration with several other awesome YouTube channels. Fallon from Moss Family TV, Nicole from Life Made Simply with Nikki, and my brother's channel, Big John TV, We'll also be sharing some super cute but kid-friendly Valentine's Day recipes. Make sure to check out the playlist. I will link it down below. Now let's get started. We're starting things off by making brownies. Since these are going to take at least 30 minutes in the oven and need time to cool. We're going to be using these brownies in a dessert, which is similar to a trifle. To make this easy, we're going to use a store-bought brownie mix Ours just happens to be gluten-free so that everyone in the family can enjoy them. But you can use whatever brownie mix you prefer or even make it from scratch. Now while these brownies are in the oven and making the house smell delicious, Jackson and I are gonna get started on the main dish, which is pizza. Now when I was planning this dinner, I thought about making steak or seafood or even a fancy pasta dish. But I told myself, you know what? Let's just make what I know the kids are going to love, and that is pizza. We love making it and we love eating it, so that's what we're doing today, keeping it simple. For our pizzas, Jackson and I are using some store-bought dough, keeping it super easy. And we use a large heart-shaped cookie cutter to make individual pizza crusts. To top our pizzas, Jackson helped cut out some heart-shaped turkey pepperoni, and I cut out some heart-shaped red bell peppers. Individual pizzas make it fun and special, and the kids really like making their own. Now by the time the kids are done making their pizzas, their brownies are ready to come out of the oven, so we'll go ahead and take those out and put their pizzas in. Now for my husband and myself, we ended up just doctoring up a store-bought gluten-free pizza to share with each other. We really like this cauliflower crust one from Trader Joe's. It's super easy, no fuss, and it doesn't leave us with a huge mess to clean up. Next, I prepared the salad while the girls helped to set the table. Many of our decorations we already had around the house. And just about everything else we found at the Dollar Tree. Both Mackenzie and Lily were so eager and willing to help set the table. It really made for a fun activity. And I tried my best not to run around after them to make it perfect. For my special salad, I started with some baby spinach leaves. I just added these right to my bowl. Then I sliced up some sweet, juicy strawberries. I cut the tops off in a V shape so they would look like hearts when I was done. These are so cute and they only take a minute or so to do. Next, I prepared my poppy seed vinaigrette. For this, I added a quarter cup of white wine vinegar, a quarter cup of sugar, half a cup of olive oil, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of ground mustard, about one and a half tablespoons of poppy seeds. I also added about one teaspoon of grated onion and two teaspoons of mayonnaise, and mixed it up with a spoon. Then I placed my lid on tight and shook it up. Now if you have a blender handy, you can definitely use that as well to make this vinaigrette, but I decided to keep it simple, plus I didn't really wanna wash the blender. You just wanna make sure to shake up this vinaigrette right before you use it each time. This vinaigrette is sweet and tangy, and surprisingly, my kids actually like it, especially Miss Lily, she's a huge fan. Now for this party, I also came up with a special kid-friendly drink. I told my kids I was calling it my love potion, but they all thought that was pretty silly, so I just called it special punch. For this special drink, I started with some juice. Now I'm using this juice from Trader Joe's. It's a combination of blackberries, pomegranates, strawberries, and purple carrots, and it's 100% juice. 
but you can use just about any juice you like as long as it's red. Then you're also going to need some soda. I'm using this grapefruit soda. But you could also use Sprite, that would be really good. To make this special drink, I started by adding a little bit of ice into each glass. And to make it special, I gave the kids one of our special occasion cups instead of the spill-proof cups they normally use. This drink is basically 50% juice and 50% soda. Next, I added one strawberry to the rim of each glass just to make it look cute. I stuck in a straw and called it good. Then lastly, because I wanted everything ready and on the table at the same time, I quickly put together the desserts. I started by making some chocolate pudding and I just followed the directions on the box. This dessert is so easy and I like to make them individual size because it definitely makes them really cute. And I found these little plastic cups at the Dollar Tree. So basically you're just going to layer brownies, pudding, whipped cream, and raspberry and repeat. And of course I like to top it all with more whipped cream and a raspberry on top. Okay guys, there you have it. If you enjoyed this video today, please give it a big thumbs up and consider subscribing if you're not already. Now if you'd like to see more videos from me, you can do that by clicking on the link up here and down there. And don't forget to go check out all the other awesome recipes in this playlist. They are linked down below. Go check out all the other channels. They are awesome. Thank you so much for watching and happy Valentine's Day. See you next time.